Hey everyone, what's good? It's your boy here, Main VR, bringing you another video of my time in Skyrim. And what can I say? What can I say? So far, so good. So far, so good. I've been trying to do a few things here, um, hopefully to better my experience in VR in Skyrim. You know, add in the mods, and I think I'm kind of done with that part of the whole thing right now. I, I think I'm only sitting with about 30 to 40 mods right now. Um, I probably will put a list of all the mods that I'm using um, in the comments below so you guys can take a look at what I'm, I'm using. Um, and I'm going to be honest, since the time that I did film this video, I then has since put in more mods and which I'll all add every single one of those to. shooting arrows at me and I'm finally seeing them and I'm like ah oh, no it's one of those guards I don't feel like fighting them right now so what did I do I ran yeah yeah like a little sucker I know but hey what it's best to run today and live to fight another day right <laughs> right the coward's mantra but anyway right <clears throat> I'm trying to get away and so, like I said, with the mods, I will put every one of the mods that I'm using, even the ones that are not currently in this video right now. And then uh, later on this week, I will be posting a video which in include all those mods. All right. So here I am in this game right now. Um, a little bit perceived because of the fact that I'm like, why are they still chasing me? And I forget. And it's been a while. I need to refresh myself on Skyrim because I played it for a little bit when it first came out. And then I stopped and then never got back to it. And I'm finally now coming back to it because, well, it's in VR. And I figured, well, first I was a little upset about the $60. And you all know about that. But I figured, hey, it's in VR. I need this a game to talk about in my channel and so I've dedicated to just doing Skyrim for a bit right now and you know in VR and everything like that and that you guys come along in my journey as I get myself through this now there's something really wacky happens here in a little bit right you're gonna see this oh man I, I missed it because I was gonna I, I didn't Oof. that mammoth had just fallen out of the sky if you guys go back a little bit, maybe one or two, a couple seconds back, you would see that. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about the coughing. I'm a little sick here, so you guys just bear with me a little bit. But the mammoth actually just fell right out of the sky. I was like, what the hell? That is just crazy. All right. So here I go. And... Now, at this point, I'm kind of fast forward things a little bit because Skyrim is a lot of big empty space. And this is just me, you know, doing a couple of little, little um, housekeeping. All right. So I found this stuff boring and I figured it's boring to me. It's going to definitely be boring to you guys. So I wanted to just kind of jump over it and um, and not, you know, kill with um, little attention that I've gotten you guys here for, right? So, as we, this potion now comes to an end and we get back to normal speed, right? I would think that Skyrim, one of the things it does do is that it's a, a fully developed world that most VR games haven't been just yet. Right, 
right? This is where I got my doggy. Alright, I had no idea what to do with him, you know? Now, I'm still always running with this game. So much reuse, like, texture and models and, and pretty much everything, like... If it wasn't for the modders, I don't know what this game would actually be like because it doesn't seem like the developer put too much effort really into this game. As much as they like to claim they did, it doesn't feel like they did, you know? I, I, I Honestly, I don't ever like the fact that of modding a game. I don't really particularly want to do it. So the fact that this game just wasn't pleasing to the eye without modding um, kind of sucks you know what I mean and not that the fact that it's just at times it can be pretty ugly but just the fact that uh, these developer not only already has a special edition with upgraded graphic engine and everything like that and then better animation it's just the fact that they didn't seem like they added too much to this in order to to um, put it out the festa probably one of the laziest developers out there you know they put out game buggy as hell and um, and they're greedy as I don't know what too so that's that but I think all publishers are, are greedy so that's a no that's a no big deal right there all right so yeah that's me fixing my little um, hand things here and at what I'm coming up to right now is I'm um, looking at that I guess it's a castle or um, ruins at the top of the hill and I'm like damn it I want to go up there and see what that's all about all right so start walking up and oh the wow oh these ghosts just pops up right I'm sorry this isn't what I want I don't want to do this they're not too much of a um, threat or anything like that, though. I don't wonder if they made the game easier because you're in VR and they just figured that they needed to make it easier. I don't know because I don't remember how the first game went, so I don't want to make that claim at all. You know what I mean? Because that's the last thing I want to do is sit down here and make false claims and stuff. It's not what I want to be about. Now this scene right here with the guy shooting arrow at me right just listen to this for a little bit now this is being taped in stereo for you guys but in the game it has 3d sound now the whole thing about this is the fact that the developers didn't put that in from the ground up. That was a mod that I put in. Like I said, I'm putting my list of mods in. But the 3D, I can't believe I that they. Yeah, I can't believe that they gave us just stereo sound in a virtual reality game, you know? But thank God some modder was out there that has that fix because now we got that true representation so when those hours were flying by me man it i had a good sense of the direction they were coming from and where they probably hit behind me you know so um it's one of those things that made this was a pretty fun thing to do you know it's like pulls you more in you know what i mean it i guess Immerse you is what everyone calls it, you know, gives you presence in the game. Stay back. I don't want to attack you. I don't want to do this. Right, I don't want to attack you, but I'm going to do this. Kind of weird, isn't that, right? Yeah, this part is just kind of like blah blah blah. 
Just trying to get these things as much as possible. See what the hell is out here. None too grand, you know, none too big. But well, I'm still liking the, the old ancient ruin type of thing, you know? I think that's a very interesting place to be at. And then I hear that sound, and I'm like, what the hell is that? And I see this, you know, skeleton, and I'm like, oh, was it a skeleton? I'm like, no, a skeleton wouldn't roar like that. Damn it. So... And then I hear that thing again, and I'm looking around. There it goes. The dragon. Right, here it comes. Is this going to come right from over those trees right there? Ice dragon like that one in Games of Thrones, you know. So I gotta play this smart. That's what I'm thinking to myself. Can't just go take him full on. I'm only a level four. I apologize for the coughing. Working on getting that fixed. Now, the thing about playing this in VR, man, you get to watch the dragon fly around you. Thing is epic. It's so major doing that. So I'm like, I'm about to die here. Time to throw in some potions, you know what I mean? Get myself all ready to go, pumped up, get my magic all solidified. Well, damn it, I didn't drink enough. I use my dragon voice and just get something out of that. Big boy, let's see what you got. I'm all gassed up and ready to go now. Playing it smart still, you know, only fools rush in. Something about this guy's not letting me have it. 
hide anymore, you know? Bam it. Got it. Yeah, I love this. It's like silken in power. Now, so I just took his soul, his bones. I'm going to make some money off this dude. But it just made me slow as hell. Right? And there's nowhere to sell my stuff at. So got to dump some stuff off. So I did some house cleaning. You guys didn't need to see that. You know. Right, I'm just gonna glaze through this. Just, this, it was just, this is a whole bunch. This might take a little while for you guys to even notice this thing right here, right? <coughs> <coughs> so, I just want to give a shout out to all my seated VR gamers. Hold your head up, okay? Don't let people tell you that you need to get up and that's standing or room scale is the only way to play VR. Like me. Enjoy, enjoy it as best as you can, all right? Um, as you see right now, Skyrim, even though it's designed for room scale, it can be played through seated. So if you are nervous about getting this game, because all the videos you see of it is people standing around and moving around and swinging their arms and everything like that, you know, Rest assured, you can enjoy this game fully while being seated the entire time. There's nothing, and I repeat, nothing in this game that makes it impossible to be done in VR. I mean, seated in VR, right? Pretty much no, every game can be made in VR. So we're starting to learn that with these ports because these ports are coming out phenomenal. And maybe people will wake up and start to say, hey, look, screw this whole thing built from the ground up for VR. We can start putting all our games into VR. And the, the people that want to play it will play. And those that can't, just can't, you know? So, okay, at this point, I get to the town and my... People are still trying to kill me, you know? I just took out a dragon. People are still trying to kill me, so I'm like, I gotta run out of here. <coughs> right? I'm like, getting my ass out of here. I am leaving. <coughs> oh man, I am so sorry, people. I'm going to be popping pills and all kinds of things to get rid of this cough and, and as much as possible so I can, you know, make better video for you guys. And then out of the blue, these, these guys just come at me, you know? I wonder why we can't fight on horseback. That would be so sweet. Alright, I, I like to keep quiet during the action sequence of these games. Just so you guys can kind of sit back and look at this, how it's going, right? So I'm, I'm always trying to back up, pay attention to my life, see where my, um, I guess it's my magic is at and everything like that. Because I mostly use magic, so I can't just keep 
nerfing it or everything like that. Can't keep just tapping, 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 because otherwise I'll die. You know, I'll, I'll just run out of magic and, and then my guy's defenseless. Well, this is about where I'm going to bring this to an end, everyone. Hopefully you like this video. Hopefully you go ahead and hit that thumbs up. I would, even if you hit that thumbs down, tell me what about it you don't like so I can make some correction and make it a better video for you guys to come back to my page and see. Hopefully you also subscribe, you know what I mean, and make this a big community. I want to grow this for you guys, okay?